Hi, and welcome to a new episode in my Learning Lightroom series of videos. I did a class recently and was asked the question, how do you keep track of your exports to the likes of Flickr and Facebook? And any other third party software for that matter. My stock answer was to use the Publish Services panel. But in the discussion that followed, there seemed to have been a lot of problems with using specific published services. And to be honest, I had experienced a little bit of this myself, getting my uploads into the right groups and things on Facebook. So is there a method of tracking my uploads while allowing me to upload directly myself? Well, here's my suggestion. If you find yourself in this position, what I'm going to do is create a published services to the hard drive for each of your export locations. Let me show you how that might work. Now we'll go over to the hard drive published services. And let's set one up. Just bring that in so you can see, because it's quite a big dialog. There we go. And we'll call this published service Flickr Uploads. Export location, where do I want to export it? Well, I'll leave this on the desktop so you can see, but you can put it in any of your subfolders. I'll put it in a subfolder and I'll call this Flickr exports as well. Do I want the file name? Well, in this occasion, no, but if you want to, you can do. It's not video. File settings, I'll save as a JPEG. I'll stick that up to 100. Leave the color space at sRGB. Image sizing. OK, do I want to resize? Well, you don't have to, but what I'll do is I'll resize to say a width or a height of a thousand pixels and a resolution I'll leave to 240. Do I want to sharpen? Yep, I'll sharpen for screen a standard amount. I'll leave me metadata but remove the location info and I think that's about it. So I'm now going to add this to the published services on the hard drive and we'll call it Flickr Upload. We'll click Create, and then we'll click Save. And we'll see now that we have a published service specifically called Flickr Exports in Flickr Uploads. So let's create another one. Let's say I, I as well as uploading to Flickr, I upload to Facebook. So we'll create another published service. I'll right click on that header panel and create another published service via the hard drive. This one we'll call Facebook Exports. Again, we'll leave everything the same, otherwise, other than we'll put it in a different folder. So we'll call this Facebook Exports. And we'll leave everything the same. And we'll add this as a published service. And we'll call this Facebook Exports. We'll create and we'll click Save. Now, if you look in the Publish Services panel, and here we've got Facebook Exports and Flickr Exports. So now what we can do, we can just populate them. So if I look in the grid view here and say, well, this one, I think I would like to resize and upload that to Facebook, say, I just drag it over and drop it on Facebook Exports. And then what I can do is click on that. It brings up the published service, says this is new, a new photo to publish, and I click Publish. Now that file's been published, if I just minimise Lightroom and look on my desktop, you can see that I've now got a folder that's been created called Facebook Exports. And if we have a look in it, we can see that we've got that image that's been resized and placed in that folder. I'll just resize that, make it a bit smaller so I can try and get both on the screen for you. 
So if I bring Lightroom back up now, I can keep adding to this. And it gives me a, a traceability of what images that I have actually uploaded. And I'll, I'd have to go and upload that one manually. Now, if I decide I want to take that off Facebook and I decide, OK, I can go and do that manually. And here now, all I do is I click on that image. I press the backspace key and it says now deleted photos to remove. And then what I do is I republish and in republishing, what I'm doing is now removing that from the folder. So if I click publish now and then go back to have a look in that folder, it's gone. So I now know if I look in this folder that now that one is now not on Facebook. So let's have another go at that. But what we'll do, we'll come out of that. We'll go and find some images. And let's say now this one I want to upload to Flickr. Not a problem. I can drag that over, drop it over click on it and then publish it. And while I'm doing that, let's have a look at another one and I'll publish that one to say Facebook. Click on it and publish. And now if I go back to my desktop, you can see I've got a Facebook exports where I've got that one in. And I've also got a Flickr export which has gone up there, which has got that one in. And same again, if I get to a point where I decide I'm taking this one off Flickr and off Facebook, then I just go to the exports, click to select it, backspace to delete, and then publish or unpublish. And I'll do that for both of them. So you can see I've got zero in exports now. Flickr exports, I've got one that's been published. I don't want now that to be published anymore. So I'll backspace and click the publish button. And now when I look in those two folders, they're both empty. So I know now that neither, those images have now not been published. Right, so that's an alternative to using the third party publish services feature to keep track of your exported images. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure that you get future episodes. I'll see you in the next video.